Hey guys, it's Victorian Garden here. I just have um, a couple of package openings for you. One is from Giselle, also known as Niroki on face on blah, YouTube. Sorry, and the other is from Leslie off of the Facebook Addicts page, and I believe she also has a YouTube channel, Crafts So Mania. I'm not sure, but um, I'll put the links in the down bar. So definitely go check them out. So this first package is from Naroki, and I love this Hello Kitty duct tape. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I want some. But anyways, so inside is the bows I asked for and a couple of extras. Yay! And a little note. And she gave me a note on this super cool paper, like... Ugh focus yeah see it's like a koi fish or goldfish I don't know but it looks awesome <laughs> and I feel something else I'm trying to do this with my left hand okay and then she gave me some glitter ooh this is a gorgeous blue color and then this kind of purple color. And then it's like a mixture of the two. Really, really pretty and really fine. So she gave me those. And then I had originally asked her for, I think it was five different bows that she had. Just the cabochon so I could uh, mold them. Because I had no bows and I was wanting bows so bad. Besides the one uh, that De Delicioso's Yummy sent me, which is awesome. And I totally made a mold out of it with my, uh, what's it called? That mold builder stuff. And here's how it came out. It came out really good. I did this uh, peacock blue color. The back is a little bit rough. See, it kind of got chipped away or something but I don't know it's really nice and it's already hard pretty much hard so but then again I did do that one like probably two weeks ago all right so here's one of the bows I really really like this one I can't wait to do some deco din stuff with these it'll be awesome just a bunch of different hello kitty bows this one. There's a little baby one. Then there's this one. It's really pretty. This is the one that um, Getting Crafty 101 sent me a little hair bow that had this bow on it to mold. And I tried it and my edges always came out nasty. So hopefully this one will come out better. And then there's this one. I think it goes this way. It's really pretty. It looks like an actual lace ribbon or something. And there's this one. I'll have to file these down and then mold build over them. And I think this was an extra. And this was an extra. This is super pretty, by the way. It's like a little faceted jewel heart. I really want to mold that. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Naroki, for all of this. And thank you for trading with me. I hope you liked everything that I sent you. And hopefully we can do it again sometime. Thank you. By the way, your package is like super sturdy. I like it. Except it's kind of crumbly. <laughs> Alright, so this next package is from Leslie. And let me just move all these bows. Sorry. crumbly stuff all over my bed. Okay. Ugh, I'll clean that in a minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all out. Oh my gosh. And one more. There it is. Okay. So, let's see. What did I ask for? I asked for this Pac-Man mold. Super cute and really, really deep. 
And this little bear mold, oh my gosh, he's so adorable and he's shiny. Can't wait to use that. He's so little. I thought he was going to be like really big and I was kind of worried. But he's like the perfect size. He's so cute. And then this ice cream mold, which I love, by the way. It's so cute and really soft. And then I asked for this glitter. It's the Craft Smart Glow Glitter. And we don't get these at my Michaels, and it sucks because I've always wanted this one. It's got the, like, kind of purple flecks in it. So that's going to be fun to use. And then she was a sweetheart and sent me all these extras. Oh my gosh, she sent me some bouncing putty, which always comes in handy. These kind of puffy stickers, they're like felt stickers. And then these. And these Hello Kitty ones. And these Monster High ones, which are awesome because I don't have any Monster High stuff. And then, oh my gosh, I can't believe he sent me a, like, resin mold. Oh my gosh. And this is, I think it's a bangle bracelet because I tried fitting a drink in here and it's definitely not a coaster. But I don't know if that would fit on my hand or not. I think I'm just going to use it for the circle in the middle and try and make some, like, circle pendants with that because it's not too big. I mean, I would wear it, but then again, that's just me. But I think that's what I'm going to do with it because this is really deep and it looks hard to get out. And I think I'm getting carpal tunnel in this hand, so it sucks when I try and pop stuff out of molds and it's hard. But thank you so much for all of that stuff. Jeez, you sent so many extras. I hope I sent you enough. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you for all of that. And let me just move that aside and I can also show you guys what else I bought today. I know I said I was going to stay out of the craft stores, but something was telling me to go to Michael's, so I had to go to Michael's. And then I went to the Dollar Tree because I needed some envelopes, and so I picked up some stuff there. Let me just get started. So I went to Michael's first, and I got these two Hello Kitty memo pads. I think these are adorable, and they're a dollar. I was like, heck yes. So I got the last two that were there. I hadn't seen these before, but they're adorable. And then I got all of their Easter stuff was on sale for 80% off. And I can tell you guys the prices of these. Uh, this huge foam container. Like, look at that. That thing is humongous. All right. So these are foam stickers and they have like eggs, frogs, bunnies, and chicks. And some are glittery, some aren't. It's got carrots. I don't know, just a bunch of Easter themed stuff. So I got this one and it was 80% off and it was a dollar fifty-nine. So a dollar fifty-nine for this huge thing. I think that's pretty awesome. And then I got these two foam packages of stickers, and it's got the Jesus fish, it's got the kind of square cross, this kind of pointy diamond cross, and then this one with the rounded edges. And these are super pretty Easter colors, and they're sparkly. So I got the last two that were there, and they were 80% off, which means that they came out to 59 cents each. So I got those for 59 cents each. And then I found this bag. There were two of these, and I should have gotten them both. But, you know, oh well. I did, wasn't sure how much they'd be. I think they're so pretty and cute. And it's got 20 of them in here. They're treat bags. And they were also 80% off, which means that they were 39 cents. 39 cents for these. Oh, my gosh. I should have gotten both of them. Oh, well. And then I got another strand of the glass pearls. Excuse my dirty bed. It's from all the packages. Um, I got another row of these medium-sized glass pearls. And these are like a really bright red color. It's really pretty. So I got that one. And then I got this blue one. It's kind of like a turquoise frosted blue color. 
and it's just the medium sized ones. I don't think it says how many are on here. Um, oh, it's teal. My bad. Uh, da, 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 da. It doesn't say. Well, it says 12 inch. It's 12 inch strand. Both of these are 12 inch. This one is called dark red. All right, then I also went and got this uh, Frost Glitter by Recollections. And I've just been eyeballing this blue color, and I needed it. I needed it. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> and then I also got a duct tape. Yay, I got another duct tape. Because I went to Michael's when they had the sale on the duct tape, but all the cute ones were bought out so I got a cheetah one a regular zebra one I got the skull and crossbones one and then I got the one that has that weird kind of U pixel shape I don't know what it's called but the one that's always on like expensive looking clothes and stuff <laughs> and today I went back and I was like well shoot all those tapes got left at my other house so I really wanted some duct tape now. <laughs> so I went and got this one. And I was going over my seat receipt once I got here. And I was like, uh, I don't see it. And my whole purchase was only $9.63. And we all know that these duct tapes cost like pretty much $5. So I was like, okay, something's wrong. And it's not on here. I was like, oh my god, I got free duct tape. I feel kind of bad. But I'm also really, really happy. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, this video is getting kind of long. Don't judge me on that either. You know you'd be happy too. Okay. So this is from the Dollar Tree. I got these stickers. And they're the like 3D ones that kind of pop out. So those are super pretty. And then I got these. And then I got these. I got two of them because I really like these. And I think my mother will like them. Then I got another package of these, the eight clasp envelopes. Then I got some of the really long envelopes. Then I got some of the short envelopes. And then I got three of the ink stamp pads. I got this navy blue color, a red, and the green. And I also got some more sprinkles. I got some more of the rainbow sprinkles. And then I saw these. I hadn't seen these before. They're red and green sprinkles, so they're Christmas colors. But this thing is huge. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I don't believe I have anything else. Oh, I can show you the vampire teeth I did. Okay, so... I did some vampire teeth. This was one of the first ones. This is just to show you how bad my mold is. Look at this side, and look at this side. Okay, the teeth are uneven, so this mold sucked. Uh, yeah, this was the mold I got from China. But I managed to salvage a few of them. Some of them did come out even, so here's one of them. I just glazed it, um, I think yesterday evening. This was the first attempt. As you can see, the blood's all at the top. <laughs> so it's basically like a vampire with bloody gums. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I still like it. I still like it. And this was the second attempt. So it's a little bit better. The blood is actually kind of down at the bottom. And around the base of the teeth. I like this and I'm probably going to sand it down and make it into a necklace for my friend because she is absolutely crazy about vampires and the Twilight Saga. So yeah, there's those and I also have a commission piece which came out like this. This guy did not want to come out. I had to do him three times, three times. and. The first time was just a total fail, and I threw it away. The second time, he came out like this, full of bubbles and cavities. And the other time, he was sticky all over the front, and it was gross. This time, it came out pretty good. There's still, like, super microscopic bubbles down here. I don't know if it'll show. 
but for some reason my resin was just not letting the bubbles pop like usual. And then I got these three little bubbles up at the top, so I'm probably going to put rhinestones over those. I hope she doesn't mind. But yeah, it's just a regular pendant. And just a clear back. But I think it came out okay. It's salvageable. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Niroki and Leslie. And I will leave their links in the down bar. Rate, comment, sub, sub, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe guys. And go check out my website. I just recently added some new stuff. So thanks. Bye. I love you guys. Talk to you later.